Hello, I'm Huang Kaiying with Xinhua News Agency. Uh, hello, everyone. This is Huang Shou with Xinhua News Agency, and welcome to join us today. Okay, today we are in a camping base in uh, Dutch China's Guiping city of Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous uh, uh, Region. Uh, so we are in a big Iguan named the Fourth China Auto Camping Assembly. Now we are watching a performance named Slack Lining. Uh, okay, so uh, Slack Lining uh, is actually uh, uh, in, in an, attack, uh, an act of walking uh, or balancing around uh, along a suspended length of flat webbing that is tensioned between two anchors. Uh, so, uh, Kai, I want to know if this is a traditional activity of Guangxi or China? Uh, I believe it, it is not a traditional activity in Guangxi, uh, but I know that it is getting more and more popular uh, uh, in, the, uh, in Europe and America. I, I, I heard about it. And a uh, snack lining is uh, similar to slack row walking and tight row walking. And slack lines uh, differ from tight wires and tight ropes in the type of material used and the amount of tension applied during use. So this is a, an a activity uh, we can we can do in this camping base. So I can see that uh, instead of walking on the on the rope or something, uh, he is actually uh, kind of jumping on it, and he will sit on the rope. Um, I, I believe that is very difficult, and oh. <laughs> He's tumbling. Uh, I heard about that uh, snack lining is popular uh, because of his um, because of of his uh, very interesting to watch and is a good way to practice balance uh, for the uh, for the rock climbers. Some uh, I heard about that some rock rock climbers are uh, uh, when they are uh, climbing the rock in the middle they're climbing the rock and they want to take a rest or something uh, they they will do this practice. So uh, what's the difference? So there's actually two kinds of uh, this activity was a slack lining. One is uh, a little bit higher and. Uh, the other one, what he's doing is a little bit lower, so he he, he d doesn't need to uh, walk from one side to the other side. He just needs to jump on the rope, right? Uh, I think, of course, the higher one is, is more difficult. <laughs> it's more difficult, and I I think the the lower one is, is for the uh, beginner practice. Okay, let's move to the next stop to check out uh, what else we can do in this camping base. So the slack learning we have just watched uh, is a typical um, like uh, sports, which, which is which is getting more popular in China, but it's still uh, kind of rare. And also, I think uh, car camping is also kind of, um, it, it's not very easy to see in China. So, uh, yeah, actually, uh, there is not so many camping base uh, in China. And this camping base is uh, one, of, one of the uh, camping base in, in China. And this camping base is named Xishan Quan Auto Camping Base. It locates in Guiping City, I just mentioned, in Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region. And this camping base is the 
first sport and recreational theme camp in Guangxi. It is built according to five-star five uh, recreational vehicle camping standards and contains outdoor activities like uh, you, you can see now. So I think uh, we're watching another uh, outdoor sports, uh, which is, I, I think it's called archery tag. Uh, can you introduce to, to the audiences what uh, kind of activity is this? Okay, yes, uh, this is archery tag. Archery tag uh, in, in Chinese, uh, we, we call it Gong Fang Jian. It, it means uh, fence and defense arrow, fence and defense. So we, we, we can we can see uh, that's what they are doing, fence and defense. And archery track is pretty similar to dodgeball. Yeah, it, it, it's like a dodgeball with arrows. And this exciting action packet game offers the uh, family friendly experience that engage engage everyone. Okay, the game is uh, still ongoing now, and uh, now we're moving on to the main part of our show today, which is the car camping. Uh, so we are moving to your camping car to show you around uh, what's in it and, and how Chinese, Chinese people are doing the car camping. Okay, please follow me. Oh, so later uh, you will see uh, camping cars from all parts of China. Uh, there is my friend I met just, just now, and he is a camping car owner. So Mr. Zhang has just told us uh, he is from uh, Kunming City, uh, Yunnan province which is in uh, West China, so he drive a long way from Kuiming to he, uh, here to, to Guiping City. Yeah, he, he, uh, he is here for this uh, conference. And as we can see, his car is very cool. And that's our uh, steps, uh, uh, stairs. Yeah, since the, the, the car is kind of high, uh, you can't just jump on the car, so you need a kind of stage to, to climb into the car. Uh, let me show you around uh, what's inside the car and, and how can uh, Mr. Zhang live in this car and travel in this car. So he, he told he told me that this also a bag. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh there's a button if you uh press the button, this table will uh, go down and uh, and these two parts of the sofa will come together and uh, we will have a bed. This is just one So uh, uh, two adults can uh, sleep on this bed together. Okay, so uh, uh, here is also a bed? 然后这是高低床，它这个可以升起来，可以竖两只，也是大人小孩都可以睡。So uh, uh, this also a folding bag, and it it can it, uh, two adults can uh, sleep on this on this bed. So. Okay, he uh he he will show us how how does this bag work. I found that all, all these equipments uh, ju just need, uh, need us to uh, push a button and all the stuff are 
Yes, yeah, since there are, there, there are, there's limited uh, space in, in this car, so we need some kind of buttons to, you know, to, to, yeah, to transfer a sofa to a bed, to a bed, from a bed to a sofa. It, it's, it's very convenient and fantastic, just need to push buttons. So you can see, um, as the back of the sofa is going up, we have uh, two beds. Um, okay. It's actually I kind of like a, like a dormitory in, in China's universities. Uh, I don't know if you, you have this idea, but <laughs> it's true. So I, I, I'll, I'll test it if it, it is far, strong enough to take one person. Okay, uh, so uh, Mr. John told me that it, it, even the big guy like him can sleep on it. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, Mr. Zhang told us that uh, six people can live in this car, six people. This car is used for racing, so where we play, we can play where we play. Because we are going to race in the sea. Yes, we are going to race in the sea. Okay, uh, uh, so uh, Mr. Zhang uh, told us that uh, this car also used for the uh, racing, for racing, for car racing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 但是这个车也可以作为家庭旅行的车。可以啊，但是这作为家庭旅行，它就要行路了。就就是很窄的路就去不了。就是在就是在宽那个景区啊，这些道路宽阔的地方可以去。如果你说去那个乡间小镇就
actually cook here. Uh, so so uh, I, I will invite uh, Mr. Zhang to show us how to cook in here. So he he's uh, showing to us how to cook here. We can we can wash wash the vegetables and other cook uh, materials in the and also we can keep the dishes here. I have an another question. Uh, the, uh, does this car have a uh, toilet? So here is the toilet and the bathroom. We can take a bath and use the toilet here. It's very clean. Uh, Mr. Zhang said that this car can uh, store um, a total of 1.5 tons of water, so it can be used for uh, washing the vegetables, washing for food, uh, washing your hands, and uh, uh, taking shower as well as uh, the the, to the toilet. So uh, it's enough for uh, daily use. And I I see a phone over there. What's, what's the phone for? Uh, just take a phone for the phone for the phone for Okay, uh, this phone is, is for the uh, connection with the uh, driving room. Uh, the driving room is uh, behind this wall, this wall, behind the uh, television. 对吗? 就是在那个电视,那个墙后面,驾驶,驾驶。就是在主驾驶,你拿这个电话可以通知前面,开慢一点,然后就不能超速啊,要在哪里停啊,就起到这种作用。uh, so the people here can uh, uh, call the guy in the uh, in the driving room to 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 tell to tell him uh, to drive slow and to to tell him uh, 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 maybe someone has a car stick and 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 stop and uh, we need a break or something. It is for communication. Yeah. Okay. So so much for the uh, cool uh, camping car tour. Yeah. We, we are going to get down. Okay, it's a really a very big car. It, it, it's actually a truck. Mm, yeah, but it's also an expensive one. So I don't think normal people can afford it. But, uh, you know, if you want to buy a normal uh, camping car in China, you can buy one uh, for, uh, I think, maybe uh 30 uh no 300,000 yuan 3000 yeah, uh, this course uh, 4 yeah, but, million but if you want to buy just buy a normal one you can uh buy one for uh, about uh 300,000 yuan which is uh less than like uh 50,000 US dollars I think yeah so it's normal family can also afford a a, a uh, camping car. Okay, uh, maybe we, we, we don't have to buy one camping car, uh, we, we can also rent one. I think rental is mm, much more cheaper. Uh, if you want to uh, have, rent, you want to rent uh, a camping car for like a short time use, maybe you can rent one for uh, several hundreds of yuan per day. 
um, which is um, uh, kind of like 100 US dollars for one day. That is not very expensive. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think, um, but the gas is a problem. I, I, I think uh, this size of car would, would cause a, a, lot, a lot of gas. Especially, uh, uh, especially they travel long distance. Yeah, yeah but for fa you know, for, for normal families who wanna, uh, you know, travel, uh, tra travel to, to, to a place far away, um, using a car, uh, you, uh, you wanna live on the car. Um, a camping car is also a good choice. So we have uh, watched uh, some, some, some very interesting outdoor sports uh, as well as um, an expensive camping car today. Uh, I think it's also time to kind of close up our show today. So much for today. Bye guys. Hope you can enjoy our show.